Dear prospective student, welcome to this video about the Bachelor Econometrics and Operations Research at Erasmus School of Economics of Erasmus University, Rotterdam. My name is Erik Kohle and I'm the program manager of this program. I'm also a teacher and researcher in the field of econometrics. I'm specialized in financial econometrics and conduct research into crises and crashes of the stock market and I teach in the quantitative finance specialization. In this video, I provide a general introduction of the Bachelor Program Econometrics and Operations Research at Erasmus School of Economics. I've structured the video by a set of questions, as you can see on the slide. First, I explain what econometrics and operations research is. Next, I discuss why this field is interesting and what our graduates do. I explain what we look for in prospective students and why Rotterdam is an excellent place for this program. Then I discuss the design of the program, the admission requirements, its international aspects and the binding study advice. Finally, I tell where you can find more information. So, what is econometrics and operations research? Econometrics and operations research, often abbreviated by OR, concentrates on analyzing and solving questions in economics and business. But, you may argue, graduates in economics and business administration do the very same thing. That's right, but econometricians use mathematical techniques to answer these questions. Now, why would you need math? To answer that, I put a few exemplary questions on the slide. For example, what will the effect of Brexit be on the economy? How to make the best investment portfolio, the best flight schedule, or give the best suggested offers in a webshop? In all these questions, uncertainty plays a major role. We do not know what the future will bring, but it will impact the return on your investment portfolio or where customers want to fly to. On top of that, there are many options to choose from. An investor can choose from thousands of stocks and bonds, an airline serves hundreds of destinations, and a webshop easily offers millions of products. And often, the answer is a number. The economy will shrink by a certain percentage because of Brexit, and you have to put this percentage of your wealth in a particular stock. That's why we make a mathematical model to answer these questions. And we use statistical techniques to learn from past observations to add realism to the model. Before I continue, let me explain that econometrics and operations research are actually two different but strongly related fields. They are related because both use mathematical models, take uncertainty into account and take, make forecasts for the best decisions. That said, econometrics focuses more on learning from observations and on forecasting, while operations research focuses more on dealing with many choice options and making optimal decisions. In our program, both fields are covered extensively. The importance of both fields has increased over the years. The availability of big data makes observations more and more important, though dealing with large amounts of data also creates challenges. In the meantime, decisions have become more complex, as one can choose from more options. But also, more requirements have to be met because of an increase of rules and regulations. Next to that, society wants to know in ever greater detail whether particular solutions to problems really work. Together, all these reasons cause a growing interest in econometricians. And this has a positive effect on the job prospects of graduate econometricians. Econometricians do not have to search long to find their first job. Employers are queuing to hire them. Research into Dutch higher education consistently shows that econometricians land their first job in less than three months. They have the highest probability of getting a tenured position and all of that for a high salary. Our own experience at university confirms these findings. Many of our students are employed by local financial institutions or consultancy firms for one day per week next to their studies. And then I don't mean to fetch coffee. Many students finish the program by taking an internship and often they receive a job offer during this internship. And not just in the Netherlands but also abroad. I already mentioned that econometricians work for financial institutions like banks, insurance companies and pension funds, working as investor, risk manager or option trader. Or they work as a marketing analyst for large producers or web shops. You can also find them as schedulers in healthcare, travel, transport and production. 
or as consultant with large but also small consultancy firms. And they work for the government or the public sector as public policy advisor, or like me, as researcher at a university. So lots of opportunities. So should econometrics then be the program for you? Well, that depends, because econometrics is a tough program. It combines economics, mathematics, statistics and informatics, and in particular mathematics is crucial. That's why a typical student in econometrics really enjoys mathematics. Not just high school math, but also mathematical puzzles and riddles. Typically, our students also have an interest in the natural sciences or engineering, but they prefer questions in economics and business. And why should you come to Rotterdam? Well, because we have an excellent reputation. Econometrics has been more or less invented in Rotterdam, and because of that we are the oldest and biggest institution offering this program, not just in the Netherlands, but worldwide. It also means that we have a large national and global network, and we can offer many specializations. We use our network to set up cooperation with future employers, for example in our case studies courses. I've taught such a case studies course of 10 weeks in cooperation with the Dutch Central Bank for the past couple of years. Students can experience what working at the Central Bank entails, whereas the bank can observe what our students are capable of. And, of course, many students arrange internships. So perhaps Econometrics in Rotterdam is the program for you. But how has it been designed? The program Econometrics NOR takes three years. Every year comprises five blocks of eight weeks in which you follow two or three courses. The first two years consist of mandatory basic courses. In year three, you deepen your knowledge by choosing one of four specializations in marketing, classical econometrics, logistics or finance. And you can broaden your horizon by choosing a minor, an internship or participating in a foreign exchange. What about the admission requirements to the program? As a rule, you need the equivalent of a Dutch VWO diploma including Mathematics B and English. Our admission office evaluates whether a foreign diploma meets that requirement and if not, we can ask you to take an entrance test in mathematics or English. If you have questions about your admissibility, I advise you to contact our admission office. Please check our website for more information and contact details. Our program is an international program. What does that mean? Well, first I should point out that we also offer the program in Dutch. And in terms of content, both programs are exactly the same. Both the Dutch and the international program offer the same courses with the same content, and these courses are mostly taught by the same professors. But there are also some differences. We strive for an international classroom in the international program with a 50-50 mix of Dutch and foreign students. The international program is smaller than the Dutch program, and all the contacts are in English. That also means that students in our international program are well prepared to participate in a foreign exchange with one of our partner universities. We have offered the international program since 2012 and so far our experience has been very good. We attract, some, uh, we attract students from all over the globe as you can see in this picture. The students in the international program form a highly motivated and coherent group of about 130 students, of which 80 follow our double bachelor program, Bachelor Squared in Economics and Econometrics. I would also like to discuss the binding study advice. At the end of the first year, you need to obtain a positive binding study advice to continue studying econometrics. The advice is positive if you have passed all first year courses, taking compensation rules into account. If the advice is negative, you cannot continue studying econometrics, nor can you restart it in the next year. With this check, we improve the performance of all students and direct students for whom econometrics is not suitable to a better fitting program. We find that math grades on the diploma are a good indicator of success. For Dutch students with an 8 or higher, 2 out of 3 obtain a positive advice. 29% of students with a 7 get a positive advice, and with a 6, it's only 6%, so 1 in 16. 
Did this video raise your attention in the program Econometrics and Operations Research? And do you want to know more? Please visit our website for more information or to chat with one of our students. Or join Student for a Day to learn more about the experience of our students, to follow a lecture and to work on an assignment. I wish you the best of luck with choosing a program and hope to welcome you in Rotterdam.